Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era and you find me in... Well this is a little bit odd isn't it? Uh, you find me in a streetcar in the middle of winter a special charter as you can see it's a special charter I have no idea how to do this we're about to find out together today you'll be working a service over the cemetery and shopping mall loops stopping at all stations junctions have been set you may begin when ready all right uh, I have no idea how to use a streetcar I've never seen this before I've never seen anything like this in a train sim before so um I'm actually really really interested in this one I think this is going to be quite remarkable I think this is going to be an interesting one I feel like this is very different so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it um, obviously it doesn't look very the quality is not great the buttons are not great um, none of this is really that good but I suppose this is designed to be used from the outside I, I guess Look, there's adverts for Burger King, Market Street, McDonald's. I have no idea what that one is. Gold? No, drum makers? Drum makers. Gretish. Gretsch. I. It sounds familiar, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm, I've never been good with drums. Anyway, so let's see what, what have we got here. We've got standard bell, headlights, ditch lights, uh. No horn. We do have a bell though. So bell bell is good. Right, let, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Next limit, 15 miles per hour. It looks like Yeah, okay. It looks like this should be, in theory, very, very easy. This should be very easy to, to handle. Uh so let's In fact, yes, it is very, very easy to handle. So we've got a 15 mile mile per hour limit coming up. I have no idea how to open and close doors in this. Is that that button? Reverse train facing. I'm not sure how to open and close doors. Uh, I'm going to see what happens. Um, but we will see. This is ridiculous. I've not, I've never seen anything like this before. I honestly have not seen anything like this before. So is there traffic on the roads? Yes, there is. There certainly is traffic on the roads. That's... This is something... I don't know whether that traffic's moving. Maybe that's a red light. I don't know. Do red lights work for traffic? Not entirely sure. I'm just in a... I'm just very surprised right now. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's just a short... You can see it's just a little place, nothing too, too fancy, and this is very easy to drive. So I'm just going to go up to the end of the platform. Nobody's moving here. Hi, 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 and we'll just stop it there. All right, so it opens automatically. Nobody gets on. Oh no, people do get on. Uh, is that a train? No, that was that noise. Okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. We're going to actually... I, and let's do a little bit from the inside. Then then we'll go outside. So we've got 20, 20 stops to make. Let's r crank up the power. Come on. 25 miles per hour. We should be able to crank up the power right the way through. Let's go. The Milwaukee Railroad Reloaded N3V Games. Very good. It's a company that makes it. So we don't have to do anything apart from drive, it seems. Uh, the, the speedometer's wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that as well. It feels like this is, this is more of a, a proof of concept, potentially? Whatever it is, it's... It's different. It's very different. I I would have liked a very high quality. If they could, if they could have got a high quality, um. Oh. What's the fifteen for? If they could have got a, a high quality model of this, that would have been remarkable. Honestly, would have been remarkable. Get yourself a high quality model of this train, and. Yeah. 
I think it's going to be pretty impressive. So, where am I going? Round there, I suppose? Oh, right, I've got to loop it round. That's fine. That makes sense to me. So, we're at the end of the loop. All right, that explains the 15 mile per hour limit. Because we've got to go through this. I I am suitably impressed. Um, obviously, not. it's not remarkable. There's a cemetery. It's not remarkable, but... But it is pretty good. It's different. It is very different. And by different, I mean incredibly different. I'm not sure if that did anything. Let me just creep it up a little bit further. Pressing the S doesn't really do much. I'll actually stop it where it says to stop. Does it make the dun noise? I think it might. Yeah, it does. Dun -dun. 29 people on board of 48. And now we crank up the power once again. Get ourselves around this corner and then I suppose we put our foot down back down uh, half a mile or so. This is very odd. Line side, it has some pretty decent line side views. I suppose we could actually do this all from the line side view. That would be cool. That would be very cool. There we go. That's really, it's really strange. It really is strange to be doing this. I don't think there's ever been a, a tram simulator, or I suppose it's America, you call them what, street cars? I think you call them street cars, right? I, I'm not sure. We call them trams. I suppose they're there might be a slight difference between a tram and a streetcar. Streetcar would possibly just be one and a tram would be multiple. I, I don't know. But still, I mean... It's odd. It's really odd. Like, really, really odd. But, you know, fair enough. I mean... Now that's a terrible view to, to be able to see this in. Dun -dun. It's good noise, good noise. Dun -dun. Right, so that's three of 20, so we're just going to keep going. That's the sign that they're, they're going to close, okay. So, ideally they need to improve the sounds, and this is, I think this goes across the board, and I am looking forward to the the new train sim um, that's coming from Oran, but I think this goes across the board. They need to they need to improve the sounds. There doesn't seem to be any traffic on the roads around here. I thought that there may be traffic, but it is fairly static. Um, they need to improve the interiors of the of the trains. I think those things are very important. I, when I was coming, when I was uh, looking to see what video I should do in this this episode and the reason I'm doing this by the I don't think I mentioned the reason I'm doing this is because there was a request to do more gameplay videos not just route building videos so that's why I'm doing this one ah yes sorry why is it 15 through this I'm not too sure but anyway um, ah, we're going to have to go around there it seems Brunswick Main Street right so I had requested to do gameplay videos, and I thought, what should I do? What what gameplay videos would be really, really good? Should I do, for example, should I go ahead and do another train um, on a different route or something like that? So I had a look, and I found a, a steam train that looked potentially pretty good uh, in in a, I think it was in Victoria. Victoria or Melbourne or something so I thought well maybe I could do that one that looks pretty good 
Then I saw mod model railways. I thought, hmm, I could do a model railway one. So I was going to do a model railway. And by the way, if you guys want to see these, let me know. Uh, make sure you do let me know on those. But I was having a look at them, and then I thought, well, this one seems interesting. It said something about a streetcar being pulled in because um, their drivers are ill or something something of the sort. And we need we need drivers now. Obviously, they've called in a train driver to operate a streetcar. I assume he has the license to do so. But I thought this is different. Let me see what this one's about because I've not seen this in obviously in, in Train Sim World and Train Simulator, the series, the Railwork series. I have seen steam engines. I've seen diesel engines. I've seen electric engines. The two things I haven't seen is these things, streetcars and model railways. So I thought, well, I've got to do one or the other, so I, I just decided to do this. And so there you go, this is what you're getting right now. If you want me to see, if you want to see more, make sure you do let me know, and make sure you do hit the like button, and you do subscribe to the channel, and obviously you uh, do let me know in the comments. Yes, I want to see more of this, please do more of this, please do more of that. I will do my absolute best to do so, and to, and to work with it. There we go, and we'll continue along our way. Um, yeah, so so make sure you do do go ahead and do all of that. Do also, if you can, support me on Patreon. That would be fantastic if you could support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. That support would be appreciated a huge, huge amount. Pepsi. Um, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget and uh yeah that that would be that would be great if you could do that even a dollar helps and if you do want to purchase this title also uh, i've got an affiliate link so you can go check that out that's in the description box i won't say any more about that but you can just go straight to their store and, and see what you want to pick up this one is interesting i will admit this one is very interesting so i, I wasn't i really wasn't expecting this trains go season change Lots of adverts about trains. I wonder why. Do do. I've got the tone for that wrong. As in the tone that I'm copying. I know I've got that wrong. Maybe it's semi-tone off or something. I don't know. All right, and continuing along the way. This is very, very odd. Some, in, in some ways, it feels like London Underground Simulator, as in with the sense of the tube. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the graphical fidelity of London Underground Simulator, which, by the way, that has, that has incredible graphics. I kind of want to try that title out again as well. I might do that. But this definitely has the potential for it. And it allows us to have a good look around the town. That's the other reason I did this. I want to have a good look around the town. Just see what, what things are like. Like, you can see the cars. Lots of Volkswagen transporters. Oh, sorry, not transporters. Camper vans. You can see there's another one there. Volkswagen transporters. Something a little different. Oh, I stopped too early there. Oh, I don't want to check something. Ah, yeah, that does move. That is animated. It's not just static. This here is animated. So you can see that's going to start pulling as we move. Watch. Watch this pull. If we accelerate really hard, there you go. You can see that move back and forth. That's pretty good. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no sparks or anything. I suppose there wouldn't be sparks coming from this. That would be dangerous, wouldn't it? And I'm not sure why the second pantograph isn't up. Yeah, I'm not sure why the second pantograph is not up at all, but... Uh, yeah, we get to have a good look in the city. There's no cars driving about. That's the... I'd, I would have liked to see cars driving about. I would have liked to see red lights, stuff like that. That would have been quite interesting. You know, a bit... Or signals. I, I don't know whether they have... They would have red lights, but I suppose you'd also have that flashing amber and, and that sort of stuff. Get around this corner. 
very good and then we're going to stop over here Did in dead in that's more like it he looks a little bit depressed this is very very busy very busy and it looks like it's one of our look there's a, there's a guy there with a hat it looks like a it looks like a pilot or a that's not a pilot's hat that could be one of our hats anyway um what else do we have? We could turn it around. The horn doesn't do anything. Obviously, we have the bell. That's annoying. Very interesting. And, yeah, like I said, I don't think I've ever experienced... It. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Uh, very interesting. Never experienced anything like it before. For certain. We're just having a, a potter around this town, as you can see. It's not it's not a huge town. It's been uh, never mind, it's it's fairly big. That is actually fairly fairly big. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean it's not huge, but they they've done a, a reasonable amount. We've got the bridge and stuff to go over. Come on, keep going, keep going. A 30, that looks like that's going to be a 15. Just going to point that out. There you go, I told you that's going to be a 15. And then it looks like it's going to pick up to about 30 again. Oh yeah, it's just say there, next limit 30. Put down a little bit. But then we are going to have to stop very shortly. I mean, it's not... I don't feel like this has been... I think this is, like I said, this feels like it's more of a proof of concept, honestly. That's what it feels like, a, a definite proof of concept. Um, commuter, call at 10 passenger stations with a passenger train. Oh, that was an achievement. Right, achievement get. That's a Minecraft thing. A new, modern Minecraft thing. Never used to say achievement get. It used to just say, has earned an achievement. And now it goes, achievement get. And it gives you this really horrible book and stuff. Um, telling you how to chop wood and it's just annoying. Why did I do that? That's what I meant to do. Yeah, it's just really annoying that... Um, Minecraft does that. I don't even have time. To be honest, I, I literally don't have time to play Minecraft anymore, which is uh, a little bit sad. I, I used to really like playing Minecraft a long time ago. It was just one of those things that you used to just build and build and build on it, and it was always it was just so great. It was really, really great. But anyway, uh, we're playing trains over here. Or we're playing Streetcar Simulator 2000 and, well, judging by the graphics, I would say this is a, a very old, I know this is a very old engine actually, so this would really be about 2010, 2012. I, I can't wait for the next one because I feel like they are really going to be, they are really going to make a huge leap forward. In fact, I've seen their, I've seen their newsletters and looking at the newsletters, you can tell that they're going to be making this huge leap forward. Uh, Oran or N3V. Do they? Are you still Oran? Do whoever's watching this, um, does anybody know if they are they still called Oran? Oran Games, because that's just what I know them as. Let's crank it up. There we go. I've only got to do a 0.3 of a mile. How many yards in a mile again? I can't remember. I can't remember how many yards in a mile. How many yards in a mile? It's always it's always changed because there are different types of miles. But uh, oh, how many was it? Five thousand seven hundred twenty? Five seven twenty yards in a mile? Maybe. I don't know. 
I'm going to have to check that after this video. Yeah, I, th I think it might be 5720 or five, maybe 5620. No, it's not 5620 because it's 162, 1625 or 1623, I think, is how many meters to a mile. So, yeah, 1623 is how many meters to a mile. mile. 1825 is how many meters to a nautical mile. I'm, we're, 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 we're talking about all sorts of stuff now. Anyway, we're going to uh, finish up this this video pretty shortly, so it shouldn't take us too long now. Pottering along very nicely. 30 miles per hour. Not exactly on the road. I would have thought we would be in the middle of the road, but it looks like there's these. This is designed to be like little towns, little sub. I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't even say suburbs. But um, yeah, we're just going to potter along. Nice and happy. We've only done four miles. It's like driving a bus. Except it has cruise control and it's connected with overhead wires and you can't avoid anything. You just plow straight through it or brake and pray you won't hit it. There's no avoidance. So this is the shopping mall loop that we are doing. Um... I feel like this is going to end up being a half an hour video, which I didn't actually want. Might end up cutting it early, I'm not sure. That's not the button I wanted to press. Definitely not the button I wanted to press. There we go. So we're just going to loop it, and it looks like then we... Yeah, here's the shopping mall. So at this point, we're just turning back. So as a matter of fact, given that we're just turning back and going essentially back the same way, I feel like this is a good, this is a good place to uh, end this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. Like I said, I'm going to be doing. Uh, different types of videos. We're going to be having a look at model the model railway soon. Um, so killer cans, you'll be interested in that. That's a a modder. He's a modder. I think he's subscribed to me as well. But he's he's a modder, and that's he's pretty good at what he does. So and he said that he plays this more like a model railway. So I'm kind of interested in that. I've not actually tried the model railway properly. Um, so that would be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. You'll see me fail at that. I am sure. Anything else I need to mention? Yeah, do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would help me out a huge, huge amount. And um, yeah, even if it's just a dollar, that would be absolutely fantastic. You can find me at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Um, or like I said, the description box below. Last but not least, we've also got the affiliate scheme also in the description box below. I think that pretty much rounds out everything I need to say. I always have to remember, I should write this down on paper to be honest, but uh, I haven't done that. I haven't done that at all. Anyway, thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time in Trains, A New Era.